To other news now, there are concerns this evening from parents of a primary school in Manchester where several students have been caught using e-cigarettes or vaping. But how did they get access to the device? Anthony Lugg has the details. It seemed like a normal day at the Spalding Primary School on Thursday morning, except for the fact that there were more parents than normal on the campus. The parents were summoned to an emergency meeting to discuss a range of issues, to include the startling revelation that more than a dozen students were using a vape device at the institution on Wednesday. There's a vape that bought at the Chinese that the student um, used, puffing it, and it caused them to, to black out. The e-cigarette uses a battery to heat up a special liquid into the aerosol that users inhale. The effects of vaping are severe. Scientists say it's bad for your heart and lungs. The device used in Wednesday's incident is said to have been purchased by a student from a store in Spalding. It's alleged students were then charged to use it. The incident has led some parents questioning how the student was able to purchase the device in the first place. How can you sell an 11-year-old student in a uniform, a primary student, this thing is to come and contaminate the school. Now we tried to get a comment from Principal Mr. Desmond Robinson. However, he told me he was not prepared to speak with our news team at this time. Shortly after our interview request, staff members were quickly called into a meeting. The details of that meeting are still unclear. We then visited the location where it said the item was purchased to get an idea of the cost. Um, how much for them? Wait. Yeah. The issue of substance abuse among young children has been worrying. The National Council on Drug Abuse has been urging parents to remain vigilant following a rapid situation assessment conducted in May this year. Uki Atkinson is research analyst at the NCDA. It cannot just be about the economics and being able to make money and therefore you're not concerned about who you're selling these substances to. We have to deal with morality and the, the fact that exposing young people to this is detrimental not only to their future, but the future of the entire society. Parents now want urgent intervention. There some need to be some kind of barrier where the, the Ministry of Security is concerned to say if these things enter the compound, we are going to track down from the student, parent and go to where it was bought so that we can bring people to the books. Anthony Lug, TVJ News.